Have you ever wondered what animals live in the harsh conditions of Antarctica? Welcome to the frozen frontier, the coldest, harshest, and most desolate place on Earth. Antarctica, a vast, icy wilderness, stretches out in all directions, a white canvas painted with the unforgiving brush of Mother Nature herself. This is a land where temperatures regularly plunge to minus 60 degrees Celsius, a place where the sun disappears entirely for half the year, plunging the continent into a relentless, brutal winter. The winds here are not just breezes, they are ferocious storms, gusting at up to 200 kilometers per hour. They whip up the snow, creating blizzards that can last for days, sometimes even weeks. It's hard to imagine any form of life surviving in these extreme conditions, let alone thriving, Yet Antarctica is more than just a barren, icy desert. It is a dynamic environment, changing with the seasons. In the summer months, the sun returns and the ice retreats, revealing rocky shores and open water. This is when Antarctica comes alive, with life returning in a burst of activity. The animals that call this frozen frontier home have evolved remarkable adaptations to survive. They thrive where others would perish, overcoming the challenges that Antarctica throws at them. They are the true conquerors of the cold, the masters of the ice. From the largest species of penguin, the majestic emperor penguin, to the formidable leopard seal, and the resourceful south polar skua, these creatures have carved out a life in one of the most inhospitable places on our planet. They are a testament to the resilience and adaptability of life, so prepare to journey into the heart of the frozen frontier. It's a place of extremes, a place of challenges, a place of remarkable survival stories. For in this icy wilderness, life not only exists, it thrives. Imagine standing four feet tall weathering the worst winter on Earth and you're an emperor. An emperor penguin, that is. Let's dive into the icy depths of Antarctica where emperor penguins thrive. These regal creatures are the largest of their kind, standing tall at around four feet and weighing in at up to 90 pounds. But don't be fooled by their size, these penguins are hardy capable of surviving in temperatures as low as negative 76 degrees Fahrenheit. Their lifestyle is a fascinating blend of resilience and camaraderie. During the harsh Antarctic winter, they huddle together in large groups, sharing warmth and staving off the brutal cold. It's a dance of survival, each penguin taking turns to be in the center of the huddle, where it's the warmest. But it's not all about survival. Emperor penguins are also known for their unique breeding habits. They breed during the coldest time of the year with males incubating a single egg on their feet while the females venture out to the sea to feed. It's a remarkable display of parental dedication as the males fast and endure the freezing cold for over two months to ensure the survival of their offspring. And speaking of offspring, once the chicks hatch, they are met with the unforgiving Antarctic cold. But fear not, for these chicks are born survivors. They quickly learn to huddle together for warmth, mimicking the survival strategy of their parents. The Emperor Penguin's survival strategy is an awe-inspiring testament to the power of adaptation. They have evolved to endure the harshest conditions on Earth, their bodies designed to conserve heat and their social behaviors tailored for mutual survival. In the face of extreme cold and darkness, the Emperor Penguin stands tall, a testament to the power of adaptation. Their kingdom may be cold and harsh, but they have mastered their environment, turning the frozen frontier into a thriving, vibrant community. And so, in the heart of the coldest place on Earth, life not only survives, but thrives. In the icy waters of Antarctica, a creature with a sleek body and an insatiable appetite thrives. The Weddell Seal. Aptly named after James Weddell, a British sealer and explorer who first recorded their existence in the early 19th century, these seals are a marvel of the Antarctic wilderness. With a body that can grow up to 10 feet long and can weigh half a ton, these are no small creatures. Yet, despite their size, they glide through the frozen depths with a grace and ease that leaves one in awe. Their diet is as varied as it is plentiful. From fish and squid to the occasional crustacean, the Weddell seal is an opportunistic feeder. They are known to dive to depths of more than 2,000 feet, and can hold their breath for up to an incredible 80 minutes while they hunt. But how do these seals survive in the harsh, freezing waters of the Antarctic? They have developed a unique and fascinating adaptation. Using their specially evolved strong canine and incisor teeth, they gnaw at the underside of the ice to create breathing holes. This incredible survival strategy allows them to access areas of the ocean that other predators can't reach, giving them a crucial advantage in the harsh Antarctic ecosystem. And it's not just their survival skills that are impressive. 
Weddell seals also have a social side. They are often found lounging on the ice in large groups, basking in the weak Antarctic sun, and communicating with a range of vocalizations that can be heard both above and below the water. Their ability to thrive in one of the harshest environments on Earth is a testament to the marvel of evolution. They are perfectly adapted to their icy home, their sleek bodies built to withstand the cold, their teeth evolved into tools for survival, their social structures complex and fascinating. In the frigid waters, the Weddell seal finds a sanctuary, a testament to the marvel of evolution. Above the icy landscapes of Antarctica, a bird rules the sky, the South Polar Skua. This feathered monarch of the southernmost skies is a testament to the incredible adaptability of life in the harshest of environments. The South Polar Skua, a large seabird, is a master of survival. Its existence in the unforgiving Antarctic climate is a remarkable feat. Their wings, built for endurance, allow them to fly vast distances over the open ocean. These birds are the mariners of the sky, spending most of their lives in the air, only returning to land for breeding. Their diet is as varied as the Antarctic landscape itself. From fish and krill plucked from the icy waters to the eggs and chicks of other birds, the South Polar Skua is an opportunistic feeder. Not one to shy away from a challenge, the Skua even dares to take on the mighty Emperor Penguin, stealing food right from its beak. What truly sets the South Polar Skua apart is its aggressive nature. This bird is fearless. When it comes to protecting their young or securing a meal, skuas are known to dive bomb intruders, including humans. This tenacity, coupled with their ability to thrive in the harsh Antarctic climate, is a testament to their resilience. Surviving in Antarctica requires a unique set of skills. For the South Polar Skua, this means adapting to a diet that changes with the seasons, enduring the brutal Antarctic winds, and defending its territory with unwavering determination. In the grand theater of life, every creature plays a role. And in the icy expanse of Antarctica, the South Polar Skua takes center stage. It's a survivor, a predator, and a protector. Its presence in this harsh landscape is a testament to the indomitable spirit of life, demonstrating that even in the most challenging conditions, life finds a way. In the harsh skies of Antarctica, the South Polar Skua reigns showcasing the indomitable spirit of life. Each of these animals, the Emperor Penguin, the Weddell Seal, and the South Polar Skua, have evolved to not just survive, but thrive in the harshest conditions on Earth. The cold of Antarctica, a place where temperatures can plunge to 80 degrees below zero, is their home, their playground, their kingdom. Let's remember the Emperor Penguin, the regal bird that endures the worst winter on the planet to hatch its eggs. Its unique adaptations, from its insulating feathers to its fat reserves and huddling behaviors, are a testament to life's resilience and tenacity. Then there's the Weddell Seal, a creature that spends much of its life under the Antarctic ice, navigating the dark, cold waters with ease. Its ability to hold its breath for an astonishing 45 minutes and its powerful jaws designed to break ice for breathing holes are remarkable adaptations that allow it to conquer its icy environment. And let's not forget the South Polar Skua, a bird that can withstand the harsh Antarctic winds and freezing temperatures. With its sharp senses and opportunistic nature, it's a powerful example of adaptability and survival against all odds. These creatures, each in their own way, teach us invaluable lessons about survival, resilience, and the sheer power of life. They demonstrate that even in the most inhospitable corners of the Earth, life finds a way. Yet, the significance of Antarctica's ecosystem extends beyond its fascinating wildlife. This remote, frozen landscape plays a critical role in regulating the Earth's climate and serves as a vital research ground for scientists studying everything from climate change to astrophysics. The survival and prosperity of these remarkable animals and the preservation of this unique ecosystem are a testament to the importance of conservation. The protection of Antarctica is not just about saving penguins, seals, and skuas. It's about preserving a world that continues to astound us with its resilience and adaptability. In the frozen frontier of Antarctica, life continues to astound us with its tenacity and adaptability. The story of life in Antarctica is a story of resilience and adaptation. It's a tale of how the Emperor Penguin, the Weddell Seal, and the South Polar Skua have all carved out a niche for themselves in this frozen frontier. Each creature in its own unique way has developed incredible survival strategies to thrive in an environment that is both breathtakingly beautiful and brutally unforgiving. 
Subscribe to our channel for more intriguing content, where we continue to explore the wonders of our world and the amazing creatures that inhabit it.